Good morning. It's Laura Evans here from Unleash Your Potential, helping people like you to unleash their potential in business and life. Now, this morning, I'm going to be talking about stress and in particular, how you can use the power of your breath to help you feel calmer, more in control of your emotions, and ultimately help you get that clarity and focus, which is normally absent uh, when you're breathing and your stress levels are too high. So today's a very practical how-to video. Now, I don't know about you, but right now, my stress levels are generally being a little bit higher than they normally would. I'm not immune to the stress that goes on in my environment, just like I guess you're not either. The difference, though, is I have a whole toolkit um, to help me manage my emotional state. And I'm going to be sharing two breathing exercises with you today that you can use straight away. Everybody can use these. So you can use them. Your children can use them. Your work colleagues can use them. Your employees can use them. Your grandparents can use them. Everybody can use them. So if you think you know of anybody in your network online at the moment that could do with having a little bit more calm and clarity in their life, um, then please do share this video uh, so that we can get this out to as many people as possible uh, because I want to help and I want to make a difference. The problem with um, the, the way the human mind works, and it's not really a problem, but we all have, and I'm going to use my expandable to help me explain, we all have um, a part of our brain called the amygdala. I'm not going to do a big brain science lesson today, um, but if this was your brain stem and this is your cortex that sits at the top here of your head, right at the top here of your brain stem um, is your limbic system or reptilian brain, depends who you're talking to. It's the most primitive part of your brain and within that is something called your amygdala. Now, your amygdala, um, normally, under normal circumstances, like this expandable, just gently pulses away looking for threat on the horizon. So it's kind of got a watching brief, and it is in control of your fight, flight, freeze response um, that's going on. And when it sees something that it thinks is a threat to you, it peaks. And what happens when the amygdala peaks um, is it actually um, releases a load of hormones or chemicals into your system, notably two in particular for this live, which is adrenaline and cortisol. Now, adrenaline and cortisol can help you perform really well in a moment, but it's not healthy for the body to be flooded with these emotions, uh, sorry, these chemicals all the time. When people struggle with them all the time, that's where we might describe someone as having chronic stress. And the problem that happens is it will be pulsing away, pulsing, pulsing, and it goes, whoa, and it releases these chemicals into your system. Then your system reacts. Now, if you were driving down the motorway, let's say, and traffic was coming down the side of you and you went to pull out and then in your peripheral vision saw another car and, and swerve back in to avoid getting it, that would be an appropriate flight or fight response. The problem is we cannot get rid of that, and neither should we, because it's an inbuilt instinct that we have. The challenge right now is how do we all get better at managing this limbic response, as we call it, from the amygdala? Um, now, like I say, there are appropriate responses. So, for example, when there is actually danger on the horizon, we need that just a, a, a kind of release of adrenaline and cortisol to keep us safe. Um, back when we used to live in caves, uh, that would have determined whether or not we ran or whether we fought the saber-toothed tiger that might be coming towards the entrance of our cave. Um, and at the moment, in the current climate, we can't really fight this virus and we can't really run from it. And so what's happening is a lot of people are freezing. And what's happening is people are freezing emotionally in their emotional state, but they're freezing uh, with a lot of stress and adrenaline and cortisol being pumped into their, into their body. Um, so let me know if this is resonating with you. Um, then let me know in the comments whether this is something that you know is going on for you right now. Um, it's going on for all of us, in my view. Um, now, it's this um, response which I want to help you better control. Um, and we can do that through the power of breath. 
So as we are sat here right now watching this video, what I'd like you to do um, is let me know in the comments below as we start this exercise, on a scale of zero to 10, where 10 is the most stress you've ever felt and zero is absolutely no stress at all. Let me know in the comments below uh, what number you would give your current stress levels because we're now going to move on to do two breathing exercises and I'm really interested to see if that score reduces as a result of these two exercises which we are going to do. So just let me know in the comments what score would you give yourself right now um, on your stress levels. 10 being the worst ever and zero being uh, nothing. I'm like, I'm called Cookie Laura, it's all under control. And then let me know because there'll be a range of people watching this video that are somewhere on those scales. I remember if you watched my video the other day, you'll know about the change curve and the fact we're all on this change curve journey and some people right now might be a bit tense and apprehensive other people might be like no I'm cool you know I'm good um, and all of those responses are fine um, but these techniques are going to help you when you're kind of in the grip and you can feel your blood pressure going up you see the problem with stress is it has physical um, impacts on our body so when you are stressed a lot of the time, that increases your heart rate and your blood pressure. And of course, that's going to increase your chances of heart problems and things like that. Often when people suffer with lots of stress, they suffer with sleeplessness, if I can say it, or problems with their sleep. So they're having interrupted sleep, not sleeping quite so well. Um, also, high levels of stress um, can also suppress your immune system, something that none of us want right now. Um, and stress over a long period of time uh, can increase our chances of anxiety and depression. So lots and lots of reasons why you want to learn about breathing. OK, so there are two techniques I'm going to share with you today. One involves my expandable. Now, if you don't have one of these at home, I bet if you've got kids, I bet you've probably got one of these. Um, but if you haven't, you can get these on Amazon or eBay for about three or four quid. They're not expensive. And we're going to use the ball to help us to regulate our breathing. OK, and that's what we're going to be doing. Now, when we're doing breathing exercises, we want to breathe what we call from the diaphragm or diaph diaphragmatic. I can't say it. Breathing. <laughs> I can't get my words out today. Otherwise known to the rest of us as belly breathing. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is not the time to be worrying about your belly hanging out. OK, because we need to relax your, our bellies so that we can breathe nice and deeply up from it. If you breathe up here, this is more a stress breath. Um, so if any of you have ever suffered with panic attacks or things like that, you'll know that your breathing is very shallow and very rapid. We're doing the complete opposite of that. We're going to ground ourselves in a moment and then we're going to focus on breathing deep into our bellies when we do this exercise. So if you are, if it's safe to do so, I'd like you to join me, uh, join in with me. And I'm obviously sat here in the office, but I've got both feet nice uh, and firmly on the floor. Uh, so just if you've got your legs crossed or anything, uh, this exercise always works best if you're sat upright or you can do it stood if you'd rather. Um, and I just like to ground myself by feeling the ground underneath my feet. OK, and then just before we start, just take a couple of breaths just to start to relax yourself and allow your shoulders to drop um, as you're breathing out. So just in your normal uh, breath of rhythm, uh, just breathe in and out. I like to breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. Now that second breath, I don't know if you noticed, but that was more a chest breath for me uh, because my chest rose rather than my belly. So this comes with practice, okay? Um, so you have to stay aware of where your breath is going, whereas when I breathe down into my belly, um, my chest doesn't move quite so much. So we're focusing on this breath in the belly. And what we're going to use is we're going to use this ball to help us to regulate our breath. So we're going to bring in, breathe in as I expand the ball, hold for a few seconds and then breathe out as I reduce the size of the ball. OK, so are you ready to take part? OK, obviously only do this if it's safe to do so. Um, OK, so here we go. So we're going to breathe in through the nose. Good, and then just hold, and then out through the mouth. Good. 
Get, I'm breathing in through the nose. Hold and out through the mouth. And having this ball is a really good visual uh, to follow uh, when you're trying to regulate your breathing. Because if you're stressed and your breathing's all over the place, having something that you can actually focus on when you're doing your breath is really useful. So let's do this a few more times while we're sat here. So remember, breathing in nice and deep. Focus on breathing into your belly um, and in through your nose and out through your mouth. OK, now, if it helps, you don't have to do this, but if it helps, you could focus on saying to your word to yourself the word calm as you breathe in and then release the stress as you breathe out. Only if that helps. So maybe try it with saying something to yourself and not and whatever works best for you. That's what I want you to do. OK, so ready. So we're going to breathe in now. Ready? Good. And hold and then breathe out. Allowing those shoulders to drop as you breathe out. Some of you might want to just wriggle your shoulders or just stretch your neck a little bit because we carry a lot of stress um, in our necks and shoulder area and our jaw. Do a few exercises. Here's a little tip for you. If you just tilt your head back and look up as long as it's safe to, don't hurt his neck or anything. Notice how your jaw drops. Um, and we hold a lot of tension in our jaw and in our neck and our shoulders. So as you're doing this, if you're feeling the need to kind of stretch, um, that's a good sign because that's the muscle starting to relax as your blood pressure starts to come down. So all good if this is what's happening for you. OK, so we're going to do it again. So remember, breathing in. Hold and breathe out. Now, you can do this without the ball. I like the ball. Kids love the ball if you're a parent watching this uh, because they can actually hold it and do it themselves. But the art of using this is to slow your breath down, to slow your system down, to almost like do a factory reset. So rather than running a thousand miles and the blood pressure's up and the heart's pumping and all of that, we're going, let's just take five. And it doesn't take long for you to start to calm your body through the power of your breath. Really, really powerful. So if you've got an expandable, then get one out. If not, I don't know if Amazon are currently delivering them, um, but certainly get hold of yourself because um, using the expandable to regulate your breath is really useful. Of course, cool, so I hope you're already starting to feel a bit calmer. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments if you are. I know I certainly am. Um, controlling my breath is so powerful for calming myself down and when I'm calmer um, then I get that clarity and that focus I don't know if you've ever realized but when you are running at very high levels of stress in short they can help you with your intention span in a short period of time and some people will realize that that sometimes spurs them on the truth though is i always have much better focus and clarity when i am calmer and i'm working more calmly um, and it's so easy when you're working at your desk um or doing your school work if you're watching this and you're a kid um or, or a teenager or something um you know it's so easy for the stress levels just to start to rise and it's great knowing you can do that so the second exercise which I'm going to take you through today um, is known as what's called box breathing. Now, I did share this the other day on another video. So if you have already done this with me, then you're going to be a pro at this today. Um, and if you didn't see that video, don't worry, because I'm going to explain it again now. Now, box breathing has been around for a very, very, very long time. Um, and as the title suggests, it means that we focus on the shape of a box as we breathe. And all you have to be able to do to do this exercise is count to four. So as long as you can count to four, you can do this exercise. Um, so everybody can do this exercise. Now, what we're going to be doing in a moment, not yet, um, is we are going to be starting our box. So we're going to start down here. And then what we're going to do is as we bring our fingers up, we're going to breathe in for a count of four and stop. Then we're going to hold it for a count of four. And then we're going to breathe out slowly through our mouth for a count of four. 
and then we're going to hold for a count of four and then we go again breathe in for a count of four hold for a count of four breathe out for a count of four and hold for a count of four now depending on how good you are with your breath you may be able to do it for a little bit longer if you're into meditation and yoga and mindfulness um, then breathing might be something that you've got really good at doing so you might be able to extend it for slightly longer but most people a count of four is a great place to start Again, we're going to be focused on belly breathing when we do this. Um, you don't have to trace the box with your finger if you don't want to. Uh, you can just visualise it in your mind, which means you can do this exercise anywhere and not be embarrassed that anybody's going to be watching you um, just as you start to regulate your system and calm yourself down. OK, so you ready to give it a go? OK, let's do this. So again, feet nicely on the floor, nice and grounded um stood up or sat uh, whichever you prefer is is best um please obviously only do this if it's safe to do so if you're operating machinery or driving then you shouldn't be watching my video anyway um, <laughs> but, um, come back and watch it later um okay so we're going to start down here so are you ready so we're going to be breathing in for a count of four okay ready good and now hold Breathe out through the mouth and hold. I'm breathing in for four. Good. Hold. Breathing out and hold. And you can keep doing that as I'm talking if you want to. Um, like I say, you don't have to trace your finger in the air if you want to. You can do that um, if that helps you. Um, you can just count in your head if that helps you. That's what I do. I count in my head and I just go one, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Breathing out. One two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four. And I say this in my head, I don't say it out loud, I'm doing that for your benefit. Um, but these two breathing exercises, regulating your breathing with something like an expandable, or regulating your breathing by using the box breathing technique. Both of these techniques have been used in schools and workplaces. I mean, you name it, it has been used. There's been a lot of research done into the benefits of being able to use your breath in order to help control how you feel. No one even needs to know you're doing it. You can do it any time of the day you like. You could be doing that breathing as you're trying to relax as you're going to bed. You could have just had an exchange with your partner or kids at home and think, oh, I need a break. And then you go up to the toilet, the bathroom, and you sit on the toilet and you do your counting um, and you calm yourself down. And if you keep doing that, um, then you will feel calmer. I'm curious to know, now we've spent some time doing both those breathing exercises, I wonder on a scale of 0 to 10, where 10 is really stressed and 0 is not at all, I wonder what you would give yourself now? Um, do me a favour and just drop in the comments below how you're feeling now. Are you feeling calmer? Because I know I am. I can feel my blood pressure has dropped just by sitting here doing this with you. Um, I know that if you can focus more on your breath, um, it will help you stay calmer. It will help you have more clarity and focus um, and it will help you to combat that stress result, uh, response that you might be feeling right now. I really hope that you've enjoyed today's how-to video um, in terms of using your breath to feel calmer. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about how I can help you 
better reduce your stress, pressure and anxiety, then I want you to know that we've currently got a sale on. We have an online course, a 90 minute course packed with loads of tips and techniques to help you reduce your stress and pressure. These two breathing exercises I've done today are not on there. So these are additional ones. There are other breathing exercises on there as well as other tasks and think practical things you can do. Uh, the course is normally $29.99, but until the 30th of April, it's just $9.99, so the price of a pizza. Um, so if you're thinking about pizza tonight for tea, um, I'd suggest maybe get this course instead because you have instant access and unlimited access to be able to come back and watch that those videos time and time again. I'll pop the link below in the comments in case you want to check that out. But I hope you have a calm, beautiful, wonderful day today. Um, and I look forward to seeing you here on the next video. Take care. Have a great day.